Ty Campbell with Teakin Racing and in this video we're going to cover the hot wire setting reverse speed and how you can use it on the racetrack if you're allowed to use reverse and in crawlers. Reverse speed allows you to set how fast your reverse is. It's available on the hot wire only and you can adjust it from 0 to 100%. So you can turn reverse completely off or you can have all the reverse. I don't recommend doing that. Typically the default on a lot of our controllers is somewhere around 30 to 50. Just depends on the controller. Now in a crawling application where we use a lot of reverse, I typically run 50 to 60%. I don't need to have full nuts in reverse, but you might want to. So take a look at that reverse speed setting if the reverse is too slow for you. Now I know, I know, I'm gonna catch some flack because I said racing, and even though you're not allowed to use reverse in racing, I still use it on the racetrack, and I'll tell you why. I crash. Every once in a while, I'll put it right in the pipe, you get stuck somewhere, corner marshal can't see you, so during practice and even during warm-up laps, it's kind of my safety net in case I get stuck somewhere out there. So that's reverse speed. It's a pretty easy to understand setting, and if you don't wanna use it, that's fine. You can quit watching right now. If you do wanna use it, I'm gonna plug into an ESC real quick on the hot wire on a PC and show you where to adjust it. Reverse speed is located on the throttle tab in the hot wire and it is the second slider from the left hand side right here. You can see the default on this RX-8 Gen 3 is 34 and most of the time that is plenty. But if you do wanna change it, you can use the buttons or grab a hold of the slider and set it to whatever value you wanna have. So let's change it to 40, and now to save it, we need to hit apply settings to save it to the ESC. Settings saved, our reverse speed is now 